Let's learn the Czech hook today. Here's my student Nick in an amateur fight in Thailand. He's about to knock his opponent down with a Czech hook as his opponent moves forward attempting a teep. Up on one leg, he's heavily off balance. Notice how Nick pivots out of the way of the straight attack, avoiding any danger. Here I perform a check hook with an open hand and then a closed hand. The check hook that I'm using here is used to change position to bring myself back to the center of the ring. While not extremely common, I'm sure you've seen an open hand check hook before. Ever heard of the Stockton slap? Yes, you have. Like all techniques, gross repetition of the check hook's footwork and movements are key consistently over time in practice, in shadow boxing, in sparring, and ultimately in fighting. The check hook is one of those techniques that you have to know. You absolutely have to know it if you take yourself seriously as a striker. This pivotal moment from the Mayweather versus Alvarez fight illustrates this perfectly. Floyd does two very important things. First, he moves out of the way of that lunging left hand of Alvarez. Second, he pivots back to the center of the ring. Even if his check hook had not dropped his opponent, Floyd puts himself in a superior position. Floyd now on the outside, his opponent now up against the turnbuckle. Generally speaking, the check hook is a counterpunch thrown when an adversary moves in a straight line toward you, usually a counter to a straight punch. However, a good boxer is not watching the hands. He's watching his opponent's body, his footwork, waiting for his opponent to move forward. That is when the counterpuncher moves off the center line and attacks from the peripherals. Let's break down the sparring session with my student CY. He's going to take a step forward to throw an overhand right. I don't know that. I just know he's taken a step forward on his left foot. So I move out of the way and counter immediately with my punch before he even starts his. I'm countering the footwork, not the arms. Whether you throw a hook with a horizontal fist like this or a vertical fist like this is not important. Pay attention primarily to your footwork. Take advantage of your time when you use a heavy bag, when you do pad drills, or when you shadow box. Don't just hit the thing mindlessly. Practice your footwork. Practice very specific techniques. Rep them out consistently so you always have a reference point, besides mindlessly flailing on a bag, to go back to in a fight. Remember when Jack Dempsey taught the shoulder whirl? You pull the non punching shoulder back to drive the punching arm forward. This detail is extremely important when using the check hook because this is where most of the power of this technique and most of your stability will be generated from, not from the punching arm, not even from the feet or the hips. Make sure to spend a great deal of time adding the shoulder whirl to your check hooks, otherwise you'll just harmlessly tickle your opponent. The way I will teach you the check hook starts with a small, tiny rock step off the center line. Even without the pivot, this rock step will allow you to slip a straight punch. But after the rock step, we will pivot 45 degrees. That 45 degree pivot should give you a clear view of your opponent's ear and the side of his jaw. I recommend spending a great deal of time repping out this footwork pattern. Rock step, pivot, rock step, pivot. You will use this over and over again for many other techniques, not just the check hook. But if you want that check hook to be perfect, nail down this footwork. Now take a close look at my feet as the check hook lands. You'll notice just before the moment of impact that the balls of my feet are firmly attached to the floor. If your feet are not firmly attached to the floor on the moment of impact, your check hook will knock you back more than your opponent. Staying light on the balls of the feet, heels raised, there is a disconnect between the feet and the floor on the pivot, almost an air moment. Not a jump, but a pivot, more of a slide. But at the moment of impact, the feet are grounded into the floor, creating a solid foundation to brace against the impact of the punch while seemingly moving on the fly.
When you shadow box, always visualize how your imaginary opponent moves. When you do this footwork, imagine your opponent taking that step forward, moving toward you, so that rock step pivot movement moves you out of the way. When you add the punches to your footwork, imagine your opponent stepping forward with a straight attack. Not only are you moving out of the way of the straight attack, you are countering, you are cracking him right on the side of the chin. Remember to move in three dimensions. In a 2D fighting game like this, Sagat on the left pushes Ryu on the right to the corner. Ryu's options are now limited to blocking, to trying to jump over his opponent, to attempting to throw him, or to time that perfect straight counter punch or kick from directly in front of his opponent. That's extremely difficult to do, both in the video game and in real life. If only Ryu could just move to the side, just pivot at an angle out of the way of these straight strikes. That would save him a lot of problems. While lateral and diagonal movement may not be possible in a Street Fighter video game, it's not only possible, but preferable in real life. Notice as Ali moves forward with a straight punching combination or a jab, I pivot to the side and counter with that check hook. Try this. Have a partner throw some slow motion straight punches as you take a tiny rock step and slip off to the side, avoiding them. You'll notice that that step and that slip load up your left hand for the check hook. But don't get too hasty. Make sure to practice over and over again until that rock step and slip are second nature. When you feel confident slipping straight punches to your lead, then add the pivot. When you feel comfortable and grounded on your pivots, add your hooks. Sequencing a pattern like this can be very important to drill the movement into your muscle memory. Start with your in-out footwork. Ali takes a step in. He moves back, inviting me to follow him. I follow, and he counters. In, out, rock step, pivot, check hook. Simple, but rep it out again, and again, and again, and again. I cannot say that enough. Thank you for watching. Now get out there and train.